Now we want to get to that proposed charter policy change that some say would make it easier for any school in HISD to become a charter school. There is support for this measure, but the opposition is organized and it's calling for action. Sienna Rhodes live tonight at HIC headquarters in Northwest Houston with the charter controversy. Sian. A coalition of parents, teachers, educators from the community, along with elected officials are calling now for this to be removed from the agenda at a special meeting that will be held tomorrow morning at nine o'clock here at HISD headquarters. That's the Hattie Mae White building here. And they say that it's because they think that the charter schools are harmful. One of the reasons they say is because charter schools are managed by nonprofits, but they take state money. When I read about this policy, I was immediately angry. HISD parents outraged over what they say is a proposal that will create more charter schools in the district. In a non-transparent way, certain trustees want to bum rush a policy of division, a policy that will that is inequitable. The word charter, I know, um, is has a lot of baggage around it. School board yeah. president Judith Cruz yeah. proposed the revised policy, which includes allowing a charter school to be formed on an HISD campus if it's the will of at least 60% of parents at that school. The intent was really Really to give true community voice um, to parents who haven't had a voice in this community for a very long time. The measure also facing backlash from board members and the superintendent. What we are serving for is all students and not to have one select group or a small select group or a small area decide they want to have a charter school while the rest of the children continue to have to work in the public school of the community schools. I've indicated to the board that this was not an, a proposal that I'm in support of. Parents also upset about the timing of tomorrow's special called board meeting. It's at 9 o'clock in the morning. They say they have to be at work. It will be very difficult for them to participate. But the board president telling me today that this was simply a logistical issue in terms of the scheduling and that it was not intentional. Live here at HISD headquarters, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News. Sion, thank you.